My name is Mark Weil. I'm an analyst of the Latin America group at Credit Suisse, and this is my little brother, Storm. Hello, everyone. <laughs> at first sight, it would seem that Storm and I have nothing in common. For example, I like punk rock. And I like metal. <laughs> Other ongoing differences range in subject from philosophy to what makes for a comfortable shoe. But our fondness for, for debate is what makes us so alike. Mark and I both love to learn about the world, and one way we do so is by questioning everything tiresome. Also, don't let the suit fool you. Mark's head is just as much in the closet as my own. <laughs> we both believe in self-improvement, although we also agree that giving constructive criticism is far more fun than getting it. More, more importantly, we share a common belief that our personal growth is a lifelong process, and I'm proud to have the opportunity to grow alongside Mark. I've been attending the Big Brothers Big Sisters of NYC's Workplace Mentoring Program now for two years through my school, Henry Shee High School for International Studies. And although I've known Mark for just one year, it seems like we've always known each other. Aside from his precocity, what immediately stuck, struck me about Storm was just how much we had in common. From our penchant for, our, for playing devil's advocate, to our common interest in world cultures, to our overall outlook on life. And while I'm his big brother, I've always felt that Storm teaches me just as much as I teach him. And like us, Andrew Jackson is passionate about self-improvement, and throughout his life, he proved the world around him, too. In fact, we recently had the opportunity to spend the af an afternoon with Andy in his office and asked him what he credits his success to. He told me that growing up, he always wanted to learn more. He also told me that not to be afraid to make mistakes because missteps always provide a learning opportunity. I was happy to find that Andy shared the same passion for learning that Mark and I, did, and I have, and it didn't take long to see why Big Brothers Big Sisters of NYC has chosen to honor him tonight. Andy is a born leader, <laughs> and that is evident in everything that he does. He leads his own fashion consulting company and has even advised others on starting several nonprofit organizations. Andy is also a true New Yorker. He grew up here and has contributed to making the city a better place. In addition to being a seasoned executive and accomplished entrepreneur, he has gone above and beyond his duties to the people around him. Despite his busy life, Andy is also a supportive, grand, a supportive and dedicated grandfather, father, and husband. And for these reasons, and so much more, we are proud to introduce tonight's honoree, our newest friend and role model, Andy Jassen. It's an amazing thing to stand in front of all you as friends and uh, see how you have participated in helping big brothers, big sisters. Uh, somebody asked me why I'm wearing a red vest today. This is sort of like Hanukkah and Passover and Kwanzaa and all the holidays put together at one time. You've done a great job. Um, normally I speak extemporaneously, but I thought rather than miss some things, I would start with reading this. Um, to begin, I'd like to thank the bankers, I'd like to thank all the accountants, and I'm neither one, I'm a consultant, and all the other consultants that have helped make this night happen. But most importantly, I'd like to help and thank Big Brothers, Big Sisters of New York City. Um, they provide an opportunity for young people to understand what it is to live outside their own communities. And what we think can happen from your contributions is to help them grow as people. But before I begin talking a little bit more, I want to congratulate my co-honoree and friend, Abby Parsonet, who's done a remarkable job. The continued support of our community, not just financially, but also via mentoring services and just connectivity is incredibly special. All of us have busy lives, busy jobs, and families, but we go beyond the norm to do what we do today. Several weeks ago, I was introduced through Big Brothers and Big Sisters of New York City, and there's my grandson, <laughs> to Storm Rivera and his mentor, Mark. And I, I soon realized that Storm is a really cool young guy and very smart. But more importantly, he had the courage to come up to visit my office 
unassisted. He just showed up and met Mark and one of his other colleagues up there. And notwithstanding the differences in our ages, we began a very robust conversation talking about things like philosophy, where he had a true enjoyment, astrology, which I knew nothing of, and most importantly, the connectivity via music. We spoke about rock, we spoke about jazz, we spoke about classic. I think he was a little shocked to find that I even knew who Eric Clapton was. <laughs> and there are other people too. But his interest in helping other people was an outstanding asset that he presented to me. And during the time that we spent together, and it really wasn't a long time, perhaps two hours, I got the feeling that I knew who Storm was. And following that meeting, he left a lasting impression of a young man about to launch into life beyond the community he grew up in. Now, interestingly enough, Storm grew up in the Lower East Side of New York. And uh, those of you that do know or don't know, it's truly the melting pot of what happens here. Um, a lot of people are pushed together because of small apartments. Why well, should I classify that and change it? It's now a luxury area, <laughs> surrounded by people who are living in, in standards that may be not so luxurious. But I myself understood the area because as a young guy, I worked on Orchard Street, my father's butcher shop, delivering meat to small apartments, getting to meet people and talk to them, and learning something about my craft how to communicate. Because everything we do is about communication. What was impressive about me was Storm's ability to communicate, a very important and almost lost art from my point of view when I talk to other young people. But what I learned in that short time, meeting Mark and Storm, is their bond, mentor to friend, was more than special. It was an incredible link that will take both of them miles into the future. You know, communicating and communication skills are the key to our ability to succeed. Our work experience and our tools which get us ahead. And education, of course, is the most important thing that we can get that allow us to succeed in the society, society we live in. Big Brothers, Big Sisters of New York City provides access for young people, the youngins, and some oldens that allow them to participate in all the things that will make them important in life. And it may not be about earning a lot of money, it's about working together and learning those skills. You know, it's really important that each of us have been able to get to where we are in life because we found mentors and teachers who are educators, and every now and then a rabbi or a priest that set us in the right course. Well, Big Brothers Big Sisters does that as well. It's an important place to be for young people to, get, to grasp the ability to communicate. Our work as professionals sitting here today is never done. It's not about giving money. It's about giving opportunity. And as we think about what we do every day, I would like us all to think about how to provide opportunity to allow young people to dream the dreams that we've dreamt to get to where we are. So I'm proud to stand before you. And I'm proud that two of my friends sort of cajoled me to be here, which I never thought I would ever do that. That's Mike Stanley and Warren Kissen. And the last thing I really want to do is to help anyone raise more money. But um, this has been an incredibly successful event. Um, I also want to thank the members of my company at Jackson Consulting Group for without them, we couldn't operate, but more importantly, we couldn't have done what we did in raising the money. And finally, and most important, I want to thank my family, my wife, Reina, who's here, my son, Eric, who was dumb enough to move back here from Miami before it snowed, <laughs> my daughter, Amanda, my, my son-in-law, Glenn, Eli, who is my grandson. Everyone wave at Eli. And my brother, Lloyd, has been kind enough to come tonight. So I thank you all. and. Please keep doing this again and again.